Shablam. Now let's take a look here. This DVD drive, at first when I got it, was making terrible noises when I put the CD in, and I was a little bit concerned because, uh, well, I thought it was going to tear my games up. When I opened the case, I found that this circle had popped off. The adhesive or something had come loose. And let's uh, look underneath. Underneath here is a little plastic spindle that magnetically holds the CD uh, down onto the case, or I mean into the drive right here. This magnet can fall out and no longer hold the DVD in, the pl in place and it just thrashes everywhere and it can tear up your game so just be careful of that. But most of the time this piece isn't even off. Mine just happened to come loose so we'll just stick that on there. I'll probably tape that. Now because I got into this before and I actually had to order the DVD drive um, I went ahead and took these screws out. But there are um, four Phillips head screws that uh, hold this thing together and they are lo located here, 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 and here. And you just take those four out and set them aside. Once they're out you can uh, open the drive. See here? I believe it just lifts straight off. Yeah. Just like that. This is the uh, Hitachi drive. You can see the model number and everything there. I ordered an identical one. We're going to have to gut this one and swap a few parts, but I wanted to show you something first. This is the commonly referred to as the magnet problem. There is a really strong magnet in here that when you put a CD in and close the gate, this little piece magnetically clamps down on top of it, this little spindle, and clamps the CD down so it can, it's got a little metal backing and the magnet holds everything tight so it can spin in here. At first, when the magnet came out, uh, everything was flopping all over the place. So you need to put that magnet back and a lot of people will use just some super glue or whatever. If that's your problem, go ahead and just take care of that and put it back together and you should be good to go. My problem goes a little bit deeper though in that when it finally does spool up really quickly, it will make a horrible um, sound like a uh, wallowed out sound, like the motor is just like, Meh. it's terrible. All right, well, if you had the magnetic problem, you can go ahead and just reassemble your DVD drive. If you want video instruction of that, just go on to part three and hang tight.